Hey there, this is Katherine Cartwright. Welcome to the Scrapbook Pal channel. Be sure to like and subscribe today. Um, I am going to be sharing a project using this lovely Layers seasonal frame set from Honeybee Stamps. You can see it is a quite large um, die set with lots and lots of dies to get you through the seasons. And then I have the Seasonals Sentiments stamp set as well as the coordinating dies that I'm going to be using on this project. So I'm going to begin by, I have already cut the frame that is included in that seasonal frame die set. And I cut this from Bristol Smooth Cardstock. This is what I prefer to use for ink blending. You really could use any cardstock, uh, but I just wanted to mention that. That's my favorite one to use for ink blending. So I am using gathered twigs here. You can see there's some nice detail on this frame, kind of making it look a little rustic to me and so I'm using this brown and I'm just adding a little more color and then I want it a little bit darker so I'm going to come back here with some walnut stain and I'm using these Distress Ink the Mini Ink Cubes and my ink blending tool. So I'm just adding a little bit more color here to give this a little bit more of a rustic feel. The cool thing about this die set is you could cut this from regular cardstock, uh, you could cut this from watercolor paper and then color it um, there's so much flexibility with a die set like this. All right, so my next step is I am going to begin cutting some of these fun elements. I'm going to use the bird dies, and then there's a beautiful flower that's included in the center for the flower. And so I'm going to cut that out. I'm going to be making a blue bird is the, fly, is the bird that I chose, and then I've got a yellow flower uh, to, to go with this set. So I'm just going to show you what comes out. There's some great detail on these um, items as well. You'll be able to see in uh, my, my picture at the end and then the close up. So I've got all of these cut and then I can add a little bit more to them. Um, I'm going to ink blend on some of those pieces. But I did want to cut the vine here. There's this beautiful vine die piece included that fits perfectly on the frame. You could add it to the top and the bottom or just the top. You also could do some things um, outside of the frame if you don't want to use the frame in your uh, card. So I'm just cutting the two of these. You can see it cuts beautifully. I'm just going to poke out a few of those little pieces. And then I'm going to do some ink blending here. So I've got Twisted Citron, again using my Distress inks here. I'm just adding a little bit of color to this die cut to add a little more interest. You could leave this just plain. They're so beautiful in person. I don't think the camera really picks up all of the detail and does it justice, but you can see that they're really, really pretty and there are lots of little details included. I'm going to use Stormy Sky here on my base layer of my bird. I'm just going to add a little bit of color to the head and then to the feet. You could, if you wanted to, paper piece this together where you could cut off the feet if you wanted to make them a different color, but I just decided to darken up the feet a little bit. I've got fossilized amber that I'm going to run around the edge of my flowers. I went ahead and cut two more flowers off camera just to save a little time. And then I'm going to add my beautiful little center here. It has all these little dots. There are a lot of little centers, lots of little flowers that you can make. So you can make them for the holidays, Christmas time. I think there's a poinsettia in there. Just lots of fun elements. Now here are my birds. So I've got my base layer and then I'm going to put this lighter color. I'm making a bluebird today is what I wanted to make. A female bluebird that has a lighter kind of chest on her. Uh, the male is much brighter and um, is all dark on the um, back. And so I'm just going to add a little bit of a wing to this one. But I'm making a female one. And so you can make whatever color bird you want to. You could make cardinals. Um, the sky is the limit. So cute. I love that you can customize it with the number of layers that they give you makes for a lot of flexibility in your crafting. Okay, so I've got all of my elements here ready to put this card together. I've got a piece of um, cardstock pattern paper um, from a little paper pad in my craft stash. It's kind of a light blue on the top and then it graduates in color down uh, to a darker blue. And I thought this would be fun to make this kind of like a window outside, looking into the outside. So I've got my uh, little vine pieces here and I'm just deciding if I want to put both of them on there you can see they fit perfectly. 
and I'm just going to decide to use one of them at the top. And so I've got my little bird here, this is so cute, and then my flowers, and I'm just placing them, I'm putting them where I think I want to put them to fill up this sweet little frame. There's so much you can do with this. And then I'm going to bring my paper over here. I'm just kind of doing a dry fit to make sure that everything is going to fit on there. I've got the little stamp set that I'm going to use as well. So now I am ready to put this together. I'm going to add some of this liquid glue here to the back. This is a very fine detailed cut. So I think this glue will be a good choice to add this onto this frame. So I'm just kind of adding my glue around all over. And then I'm going to bring a mat into here, that same mat I was using earlier. I had that out and I'm just going to put that underneath because I know there's probably going to be some glue that will smush out um, around and I just don't want to get that on my mat and get it onto my project. So I'm just, you can see there's some glue left and then I can also do any little repairs. Maybe so there's some spots that I missed and I'm just making sure that this frame is uh, glued together appropriately. All right, so now it's nice and dry. I can add this to my piece of patterned paper here. You could pop this up with some foam. I think you could even make this into a shaker card if you wanted to. You could add a piece of acetate on the back of that, just cut a square, um, a rectangle I should say, uh, on the back. And then you probably could turn this into a shaker card. So again, so much flexibility with a set like this if you have this in your craft stash. All right, now I'm gonna add some foam pieces to the back of my bird and my flowers to finish rounding out this sweet little spring scene. It's cold where I am. I don't live where snow is, but it is cold where I am. And so I am definitely looking forward to spring um, coming very, very soon. All right, so I've got the foam on the back of those and now I can place my flower where I want it to go. And then I've got my sweet little blue bird that's going to be hanging on that frame. So cute. And there we go. Like where he is positioned. And then I can add my flowers at the top. Very, very sweet. So you could do, like I keep saying, um, you could do so many things with this. You could do a card with just the flowers. Die cut a bunch of flowers and not even use the frame. And kind of create a little bouquet with these sentiments on there. Um, just such versatility. All right, so I stamped the spring greetings using some blue ink. And I love that you have the dies that you can purchase to go with it. And you can cut right around those words, um, the letters. I think that is such a nice thing to be able to have a nice little border around your sentiment. So I'm going to add this to a piece of bright yellow cardstock. And then my base will be kind of a spring green tying this all together. I'm going to add some foam to the back of my spring greetings as well. I'm going to trim these little pieces. It's pretty small, so I'm just going to cut them in half, and then I'll add them to the back of this, just using my little nips here um, to cut that apart. Okay, got that last little piece in there. Then I have one that's sticking a little bit, so I've got to kind of get it fixed. And then I can layer this onto my card. So quick and easy. And again, so much flexibility with the frame and what you can do with it. Okay, got that one little piece there. Just going to add a fresh piece here so I can get that onto my card. And I'm just going to add this at the bottom, spring greetings. And then I am going to add one more little element here. I've got these beautiful pearl stickers. These are the pastels, which I thought would be perfect for a spring project. And I'm just going to use the little smallest pearl here. There's this beautiful green that happened to coordinate with my cardstock. That was a happy little um, accident there. And so I just decided that those would look really good on these little, the vine that is growing in front of this window here. So I'm just going to add a bunch of these onto my project. And I also love these pearls and they have the gemstones. They give you a bunch. You can see I'm using quite a few and the package is very generous with a lot of product. So I always enjoy their little embellishments. And so that is my project today using this seasonal frame. Be sure to subscribe. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.